Well lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another new video here in KDFG and welcome back to more Premier League predictions today as they're predicting the uh, Premier League match week 21 part 2, yes. Now we had the first half of the match week over there last week and now we're predicting the other 5 matches for this week. I wouldn't say they're as glamorous as the matches from last week, however they definitely still could pull us from very interesting results so without wasting too much more time here in this intro make sure you are subscribed. 88% 80, 80 of you watch my videos just are not subscribed so if you are a new viewer and you let me contact make sure you are subscribed make sure you like the video as well and really and uh turn on turn on notifications it really does help and support the channel and well without wasting too much more time here let's get into my premier league predictions for match week 21 part 2 kickstarting match week 21 part 2 off with the early kickoff on saturday and we've got a london derby here as arsenal host crystal palace at the emirates an interesting one this one of course arsenal haven't played in two weeks their last game they made of three defeats from three and a terrible two 0 defeat at home to liverpool and that's them out of the fa cup early doors however despite that bad run of form they've had two weeks here to rest whereas crystal palace like they played their replay of the fa cup against everton their midweek and they lost one nil up at goodison park so that's them also out of the fa cup as well so palace will be a lot less rested than Arsenal, a stronger Arsenal side than Crystal Palace as well. So Crystal Palace may very well struggle, but they may very well challenge the Gunners as well in this one. It's going to be a very interesting one here at the Emirates. However, I would expect Arsenal to get back to winning ways after three defeats in the bounds, and they're going to get a much-needed win here, and it's going to be a very good 2-1 victory here at home for the Gunners. When I said half time is 2-0 Arsenal, both Arsenal goals will come in the first half. After about 15 minutes, I'm going to say Bukayo Saka will open the score and a player who slipped into a very bad run of form as of recently. He'll get a much needed goal for himself. He got his confidence back. He'll make a 1 0 then after 15 minutes. And then I'm going to say right in the stroke of half time, Declan Rice will head from home from a corner. It's going to be a beautiful header in past the Dean Henderson, thinking that's. And in the end here, lads, Arsenal will be dominant in the first half and will have a comfortable 2 0 lead then going into the break. And in the second half, I'm going to say Arsenal should be 3 or 4 and up. They're going to be very, very good going forward. However, I'm going to say once again, a problem that's been with their lingering about there over the past couple of games is they just cannot finish their chances. And with 10 minutes to go, then I'm going to say they're going to get a late start of the Gunners. And Michael Olise will scrap in a goal, a very well worked goal by Crystal Palace. And Palace, with 10 minutes to go, will be back into this one. However, I'm going to expect Arsenal to hold on in this one. It's not going to be too comfortable in the end. Arsenal should very well be a lot more comfortable than it will be in this one but in the end here lads the important thing is going to be three points in this one and that's what's going to arsenal are going to get in this one as they get back to winning ways here at the emirates so arsenal two crystal palace one as we've gone with here in this one i think in the end here arsenal will be very good in the first half they won't be able to finish their chances in the second half and palace will give them a late score however in the end here arsenal will seal all three points in a, a seemingly unconvincing way here at home to palace the second game then on Saturday sees us go to Brantford as Brantford of course will be hosting Nottingham Forest now. An interesting one this one of course both these sides of course play in midweek in their FA Cup replays. Brantford dumped out of the FA Cup on extra time 3-2 losing up at Wolves there at the Molyneux. So a poor defeat there for uh, Brantford whereas Nottingham Forest on the other side also went to extra time. But this time they did whatever the team who won 3-2 away at Blackpool. So an important win there for Forest to get through in the FA Cup but both these sides will be equally. Um, as tired and as rested in this one so that does very well make for a very interesting matchup in this one but I'm going to say here Brantford are going to be the team to win this one I'm going to say in the end here it finishes Brantford 2 Nottingham Force 0 I'm going to say it's 1-0 at the break and both there will be one goal in the first half one goal in the second half for Brantford will be equally divided out to two goals between the halves and they're both going to come from the same player and that same player is going to be Ivan Tony, yes, Ivan Tony is back for the bees, and I'm going to say on his return to football after eight months away, he will score a brace in this one. One goal in the first half, one goal in the second half, and at the end here, lads, he will be the key player in this one, and he will seal all three points here for Brantford. What is going to be a very, very good performance overall from the bees, and a poor one at that for Nottingham Forest. So yeah, keeping it short and sweet and simple here, lads. Brantford two, Nottingham Forest nil. That's what I've gone with here in this one. I think Ivan Tony is going to be excellent on his return to football he'll score a brace in this one but making a given Brantford a must needed 2-0 victory here ending their losing and uh, ending their winless strides and um, in the end here lads Brantford will, will be the better side Forrest will struggle and a Tony Brace will get Brantford finally back to winning ways uh, now on to our Sunday games then firstly starting out at Bramall Lane as Sheffield United are hosting West Ham United 
an interesting one this one of course because obviously you know West Ham will be coming into this one as the favourites the, the way better side like of course and that was quite evident however Sheffield are going to be a lot more well rested it's been two weeks since Sheffield's last game since they travelled to Gillingham and beat them 4-0 there so a big win there for the Blades and a massive rest whereas West Ham of course were playing midweek away at Bristol City in their, um, in their FA Cup replay and actually ended up losing 1-0 there away at Bristol so West Ham you know they'll be a lot less rested than Sheffield and maybe the momentum mightn't be there for them where Sheffield may have very well maintain their momentum they got away at Gillingham last time out so it's going to be interesting to see what does go down here I do think at the end the West Ham should be able to scrape the win I think they're going to get back to winning ways after a poor defeat in the FA Cup it's going to be a smash and grab 1-0 victory here for West Ham on this one I want to say I have 10 minutes to go from the break James Ward-Prowse on the edge of the box will strike a superb uh, will strike a superb goal into the top corner it's going to be an amazing strike in the end in this one and James Ward-Prowse's wonder goal will be all that separates both the sides here as West Ham will get a much needed 3 points here away from home so Sheffield nil, West Ham 1 that's what I've gone with here in this one I think in the end here lads West Ham will be the better side I think Sheffield though, will give them a few scores throughout the game they'll be unlucky not to score though the Blades and in the end here lads a beautiful war price strike will be all that separates both the sides as David Moises Ben will get back on track with a big three points here on the road the second match then on Sunday sees us go to Bournemouth as Bournemouth of course are hosting Liverpool an interesting one this one of course both these sides of course obviously having two week breaks Liverpool of course an amazing uh, 2 0 victory there away at Arsenal and then Bournemouth came from 2 0 to behind to beat QPR 3 2 away from home so both them sides two big rests they're three to the next round of the FA Cup both these sides will have momentum on their sides as well and we're also going to we also mustn't forget here that Mohamed Salah is absent from the Liverpool side and that's going to be a massive miss there for Liverpool it's going to be interesting to see you know how will Liverpool fare without Mohamed Salah in their side that's, going, that's definitely going to be a very very interesting thing to look out for in this one I think obviously you know Bournemouth still playing very very good this season they definitely very well could take some points off them I mean they did it last time out um, uh, when Liverpool travelled into Bournemouth in the Premier League they beat them 1-0 their uh, last season so maybe that could be a bit of motivation there for Bournemouth and they're playing even better than they were last season as well so it's going to be interesting to see what does go down here however I still am going to expect Liverpool to win this one I want to say in the end here it's a 2-1 victory here for Liverpool away at Bournemouth I want to say at half time here it's 1 0 to Liverpool. I think they'll be the well, much more dominant and better side in the first half. And I'm going to say with about 5 or 10 minutes left before the break, I'm going to say Darwin Una is a player who had an amazing goal last time out away at Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup earlier on this season. I'm going to say then he will strike a beautiful strike in, in past, uh, I think, who's, who's keeper Neto? He'll strike a beautiful strike in past Neto once again in this one. And he'll give Liverpool a 1 0 lead then going into half time. Then in the second half, I'm going to say Liverpool will have a have a lot of chances very very early on however they will not be able to finish in them and with 20 minutes to go then I'm going to say Bournemouth will strike back Philip Billing I think is going to get the goal in this one the super sub coming off the bench and he will equalise then making it 1-1 here with 20 minutes to go however I still will expect Liverpool to win this one I think with less than 5 minutes left they're going to leave it late in this one but I do think Liverpool with less than 5 minutes left will strike a beautiful counter attack and a finish from Alexi McAllister of all players will make it 2-1 Liverpool in this one guaranteeing them all three points here away from home so Bournemouth 1 Liverpool 2 that's what I've gone with here in this one I think in the end here Liverpool will be the better side Bournemouth will give them a bit of a scare however Liverpool will be able to strike back and get all three points here in the day and minutes of the match the final match then of match week 21 ending off this two week period of, of the match week 21 sees us go to Monday Night Football as Brighton are hosting Wolves now over the past couple uh, games you know these two sides have met each other you know the has been a few goals in them there has been a good amount of goals in them I mean look at earlier on in the season Brighton went to Mon Yun Thrash Wolves 4-1 and last season like Brighton uh, at the, in this exact fixture and the beaten Wolves 6-0 as well so there definitely has been a lot of goals recently in this fixture Wolves, of course, obviously, they've been playing midweek and um, have went to extra time, of course, at home to Brentford. So they definitely could be very well, very, very tired for this one. Whereas Brighton, of course, have had two weeks rest after their 4 2 win away at Stoke City in the FA Cup. So it's definitely going to be very, very interesting in this one, lads. But something's telling me here that nil nil is written all over this one. And you know, you know what, lads? I'm going to give it nil nil. So yeah, Brighton nil, Wolves nil. That's my prediction here for this one. I think in the end, Brighton will have plenty of chances. It'll be the better side 
in this one. Wolves will struggle, however, they'll defend very, very well. And at the end here, Seagulls will be lackluster in this one. And Wolves will be able to get a massive point here in a game where they perform really, really badly. And it'll be a mix. So Brighton nil, Wolves nil. And that's what I've gone with here then in this one. And that will end today's uh, Premier League Match Week 21 Part 2 predictions, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on, turn on notifications. Thank you all for supporting the channel once again. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all once again in KDFG very, very soon.